Hello, my wonderful students. Hope you're doing well. Let me tell you in this video what we're going to take and learn an English subject for this week. Well, first of all, we're going to be starting with a reading comprehension text from our book that is called, uh, that's entitled actually Life at the Top. Uh, we're going to start discussing the new vocabulary related to the topic. We're going to search for the definition or the meaning of the new vocabulary in the text using dictionaries and online dictionaries. And we're going to be also learning the function of new vocabulary and how we use them in sentences correctly. We will also learn how to implement our knowledge and skills to make use of linguistic context to determine the meaning of unknown words. And we're going to write the new words on the word wall in our classroom and notice how they help us understand what we read and say. By using our reading skills, we look for context clues. What do context clues mean? Well, Context clues are information provided in a text that help readers understand what unfamiliar words mean. Definitely, we will apply our listening comprehension skills effectively. We will define the genre and the subgenre of the text. And let me remind you of the genre. We all know that the genre is the style or the type of writing. And in English literature, we have two big genres, fiction and nonfiction. And each genre has, of course, subgenres. We will also analyze the text structure step by step. Well, when we read a text, please let's make sure to listen and read with careful attention in order to ask relevant questions related to the topic, to clarify some information in a good way, and make comments as well. This time, we'll use the strategy of notice, generate questions, connect, and respond. Throughout reading, we will be exploring grammar, subject and predicate, adverbs, verbs, nouns, and adjectives. I'll ask you to allocate them in the classroom in our English lessons. Of course, we'll make a connection between reading and writing in English, and we will be also introduced to the steps of writing an informational text. Finally, we end our English lessons by being reflective and record our own self-reflection in many various ways. Hope this week is going to be fun. Thank you.